This page of your notes is titled Connective Tissue. As a reminder of where we are in the big scheme of things, the first thing let's put over here are the four major types of tissue in your body. In other words, every part of your body that you touch is one of these four kinds of tissues. Either epithelial, those are the linings, or connective, which are tendons and ligaments and fat and blood, or muscle, which contracts to help things move through the body, or nervous, which are cells that can fire electrical signals. So in connective tissue, of course there are, oh, let's highlight connective before we move on, focus of this page. Connective tissue is well known for the fact that fact that it has scarce cells, meaning not very much, lots of matrix, which I'll explain to you in a second. Suffice it to say it's not cells though, and usually scarce blood supply compared to other tissues like epithelial, for example. So let's all go down to the bottom of the page and talk about matrix. So move your paper up like this. Matrix. Usually has some kind of fibers. Most of the time those fibers are, that's a C, are collagen fibers. Collagen fibers are just a type of long fibrous protein. And then they also contain what's called ground substance. And typically this is going to be something like in bone, calcium salts, for example, EG is for example, or uh, something like glycoproteins, glyco means sugar. So these are proteins that have a sugar attached to them. And the whole point of this and why I tell you about it, it helps connective tissue hold water. Because of these glycoproteins, water is attracted to the connective tissue. And as we age, these tend to break down. So our connective tissue gets weaker and more brittle. Okay, so we'll come back to that periodically throughout the quarter and kind of flesh that out, pun intended. Okay, first let's talk about uh, the different kinds of cartilage because cartilage is always connective tissue. There are three kinds. Hyaline cartilage is the most common in your body and it's found, for example, articulations and this is articular cartilage that lines the ends of bones it should be smooth and glassy to reduce friction when you bend your knee, for example. So let's go ahead and color that on here.
This is an imaginary joint, and the ends of the bones are always lined with articular cartilage. Some other places that you have articular or hyaline cartilage, sorry, are, for example, in your trachea. And this also makes you up your larynx, so your voice box. And then your nose, right? Nasal cartilages give us uh, the unique shape we have to our nose. And what do you think about this one? Costal. The word means rib. And those are cartilages that connect your ribs to your sternum. So, hyaline cartilage is the most common. It's not the only kind. You can see in this imaginary knee joint a couple of pads. They would be over here, too. And those are called fibrocartilage pads, and they are made of hyaline. In typical terminology, you call this a meniscus. So maybe you heard of someone that has torn their medial or lateral meniscus in their knee, and what they've really torn is a piece of fibrocartilage. This is, I would say, the toughest of the cartilages, the most or the least flexible, but it gives good padding. And so you find it in menisci for example, in the knee, to act as a cushioning and shock absorption. And also, uh, in between each of your vertebrae is something called an intervertebral disc. And that is made of fiber cartilage. It has kind of a pulpy interior, and if you've heard of someone herniating a disc, then they have damaged a piece of fiber cartilage. And then the other place you have that is the pubic symphysis. This is where the anterior part of your pelvis is held together. And if it were to come apart, then the two sides of the hips actually could move freely. It's really painful. That can happen in someone that's had a lot of pregnancies. All right, so that is cartilage. We've got hyaline cartilage and then fibrocartilage. And then the last kind of cartilage is called elastic cartilage. You can tell in the name it is the most flexible and sure enough we find it in a flexible spot. The ear, notice it starts with an E just like elastic, that's how you can remember. And the other place that elastic cartilage is found is the epiglottis. And this is a flap of cartilage that covers up the opening to your trachea when you swallow. So it protects you from choking. Okay, now let's look at a couple other kinds of connective tissue. So, so far we've only talked about cartilage and the three kinds, hyaline, fibro, and elastic. So these are all cartilage. And next we'll look at ligaments and tendons. So you can use an orange highlighter for a couple of ligaments on our imaginary knee. Sometimes they're actually in the, well, they are in the middle of the knee too, the cruciate ligaments. Can't see that. So ligaments connect one bone to another. and they are strong collagen fibers. I'm gonna stop there for this page of your notes and we'll pick up in another video.